In today's video, I'm gonna show you rough opening size for a commercial steel frame door. Hey, it's Cody with Up to Code. Now, when we're talking about steel frame doors, we're talking about the expandable knockdown steel frames. Just like these ones here that you see, I'm gonna just grab my high-tech whiteboard to show you what we're talking about. Just give me a sec. I'm gonna show you what the rough opening size should be, but I'm also going to describe why, and I'm going to show you what we do differently than what you'll see, basically what they tell you standard. So we'll show you that in a sec. So rough opening for a commercial door. So it's a steel jam. So it's basically a knockdown frame. They're expandable. They're interior use. So as you can see behind me, they actually clamp around the wall and the framing's inside this a little bit. You'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a sec. So here's the rough opening if this is a wood frame. Pretty straightforward. So you take whatever your door width is, plus one and a half inches. This is Cody's way of doing it, and I'll show you why. Door height plus three quarters of an inch. So let's get into why. And just so you guys know, I have a video on how to hang these doors. So that's a separate video. It has all the tricks, tips, everything, even just setting it on a finished floor. Everything you need to know about hanging these they're pretty simple. They're actually easier than an interior wood door for a house. Another video that we filmed is how to frame one of these if you're building with steel studs, okay? It's a little bit different how you frame it. In this scenario, we actually just framed everything with wood. We didn't have to worry about it. We had lots of, uh, lots of material to fasten to. So anyway, when you go through the books or if you look up any sort of door schedule for these commercial ones, It'll tell you, you take your door width, if it's 36 inch, you add an inch on one side, inch to the other, so it'd be 38 wide. And then it tells you to add an inch in height. And so that would give us, for these ones, these are 84s, so the rough opening would add an inch 85. That's what the commercial door frame guys will tell you. But the reason ours is different is this is why. So these pieces of tape, so this, the top tape here and over here is if we added one inch to either side. Now the tape below is if we just added three quarters of an inch to, in, to each side, which would give you the, the one that you saw at the beginning with the whiteboard. Door width plus inch and a half. That's because we're gonna go three quarter, three quarter. So the door is 36 inches, right? So this version, holding my tape on the blue masking tape, one inch bigger on each side. But let me show you the, the inherent issue with that. I'm following down. I would, I'd have to angle the heck out of that screw to hit the framing. So that's based on their theory, what the, uh, the commercial door guys will tell you. So now I'll show you the Cody's method. We reduce it a little bit. And uh, because we frame our openings properly, it's not a big deal. Here, but okay, so we're three quarters. So now we're gonna move to this lower one three quarters on each side. That takes me to 37 and a half rough opening. And now when you look, now you can imagine this, this is the framing is coming up here. We have way more material to screw into here. On the other side, again, just a lot more material to screw into. Now just stay there. If you spin around and look, we actually did kind of a happy medium between these two methods. You can see how much room I still have in there. One thing to keep in mind, guys, I use these on exteriors as well. There's a few things I do differently. On the exteriors, this latch will actually be solid metal. It'll be recessed and back down and over. So if you're framing the smaller RO that I suggest, you just have to be mindful to chisel this out so you have room for the frame. So don't forget to modify things like Cody does. This is your rules for these types of frames. Don't forget to check out those other videos as well. If I missed anything, let me know. If there's any videos you guys wanna see, just write it in the comments. And any links to exclusive footage will be in the description of every single video we have. So with that, I'm gonna sign off. Thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one. Are we filming? <laughs> oh, no, hold on, all right. <laughs>